Hi everyone, thanks for popping through to this video. My name is Natasha and I'm from Heart and Design and today we're going to watercolour paint this beautiful mushroom fairy. She comes from my book called Learn to Draw Step by Step Fairies. That's for this month which is now October 2022 and I will be bringing out a, a new book every single month. You can subscribe to that over on Patreon. Um, you can also, if you're outside of the UK, there are downloadables available as on patreon as well on youtube there are uh, videos to show you how to draw every single step by step so i take you through them all forgot to say at the back of the book there's coloring pages for it as well so yeah that's my books this is today's um watercolor activity we're going to go for mushroom fairy so all you'll need are some watercolor paints some watercolor paint um brushes paint brushes some watercolour paper and to have found the other video of Mushroom Fairy drawing or out of all my videos and to draw her out first and be ready. Now what I've done is I've not drawn in all of the detail on her wings because we will paint them in and we don't really want to see them. Now I've drawn it but I'm going to push the pencil back now by lifting it with a kneadable eraser. So I do recommend that you get one of these. They really help just to take thickness and the blackness of that pencil out so go ahead and do that now this is a level four drawing it was quite a complicated and detailed drawing um, all of my activities come with an ability rating in stars from a one star which is for complete beginners and then they get more and more tricky and detailed up to a four star each book has a few of each. So you could, even if you're not a beginner, it's nice to start at the beginning and work your way through the book. And sometimes you don't want anything too difficult. You just want something easy and just do it as your mindfulness art and just waste away a bit of time doing something that distracts us from this crazy, crazy world. Okay, I'm just going to get my rag, which has fallen on the floor. <clears throat> now I tend to have a dirty rag on my lap always and then I just brush the brushes onto it when I'm doing watercolour um so uh where should we start let's start on her I think yes we're going to start on her I think we'll start on her body and we're going to go for a nice pale blue dress so um try not to have quite as much paint as I just had on my brush yeah I'm just going to paint in using the point of the brush you need just a little medium sized brush um, because this is a small picture I mean you could do it a lot bigger and then you could use bigger brushes and I just want to paint in a dress which comes over onto her legs I'm just painting in the areas where the dress is I'm trying to go in the direction of where the dress is so that when you see the strokes you can see that they are coming downwards in that direction so we're going over her legs get some more of that paint uh, good and I may have put a bit too much paint down so I'm just going to lift it off with my brush a bit too much on her top so there that's her clothes done um, but what I am going to do is come in with a bit of a darker version of that blue. See if I can some of that blue up and mix it in with it. Slightly darker, might not even show up. Yeah, slightly darker. Now this is the tops of her, the top of her dress here. Comes over, which is just underneath her. Oh, I've got a little hair in there. Um, which is just underneath where her hair is all kind of falling down. So we don't want to put too much there because the hair is going to go over anyway. And I wanted it a bit darker just so that it stood, stood out a bit. Now we're going to let that go. Now normally what I do is I do one layer in each colour. Then I'll go in with a slightly darker colour. I'll either leave it at that or I'll go in with a third darker colour. The reason why I do the difference in values, those three values, the light to dark, is because that's what make, will make it 3D. 
so I have a peachy colour here I tend, you can mix your own if you've got pink and say yellow ochre but I'm just going to go in and use that I've got a peachy colour maybe I'll put some white in um, a bit too much white you just want something that looks fleshy colour and of course there's so many skin tones out there it doesn't really matter too much just do something that to you represents skin tone now I'm going to do her fingers first and come down pop her arm in okay so just really use the point of your brush with the smaller details and try not to and, and go in the direction of what you're painting so always go in that direction and then it will automatically give the impression of that movement down that way take some of that paint off and i'm going to bring it down onto her hand now we can go in with a bit of detail once that's dried so we can see actually see where her fingers and things are okay so her face we don't want to miss that so we can see her face and her neck I'm going to come in very very lightly do her face come in and do a neck area I'm going to lift some of that color off her hand because that is quite dark so again with a slightly damp brush you can go in and just lift some of the color off if you're not happy if you think it's too dark in areas there we go so that's a bit better now she has got little pointy shoes on i haven't left her barefooted i've given her little pointy shoes and i'm going to make them like a uh, an aqua color we've got little aqua shoes on like little elf shoes i just wanted to give her kind of elfish type feet so we know her feet are kind of crossing there one's coming out here and one's coming out this way from underneath there we as i said we can go in with more detail in a minute so now i'm going to go over the whole top of the mushroom i am going to do a nice red color let's uh just cool that a little bit wait okay so that's possibly a bit too pink so just keep mixing colors at the moment i'm mixing red with a little bit of white to try and get the red that i'm looking for i just don't want it to be a bit too too in your face red right so i'm just coming in now really carefully around where her hand is and then i'm just pushing the paint around now i have gone over the marks that are like little black marks um don't worry about that too much because we will we will go over that so go round her feet carefully round her clothes carefully that's the main thing really just be really careful so i'm going to come round and spread some of this down and across just a really nice light first layer pushing that along because i don't want it to be too red to start with because we can come in with darker reds later when we do the shading and i just pick some of that up with my rag spread that round and now i'm happier let it all dry then we'll come down to the bottom part of the mushroom and we'll start off with just yellow ochre put water down so that it's a very light foundation of yellow ochre to start with now be careful not to mix it in with too much of that red if it's still wet luckily mine is nice and dry with the thin layer of watercolor it will dry quite quickly a couple I'll come straight off the picture okay so this is just the first layer don't forget that so we will be adding in detail and shading and other values and things as well 
So I'm thinking maybe we could have a very pale blue sky in between all those clouds. So let's do that. Very, very pale. I'm just going to push a bit of blue around. It's very much the same blue as her dress, but literally very, very watercolored down. And that's actually a good way um, to change a color. A colour's value in watercolour is water it down more. Oops, got some yellow ochre in it there. We don't want that, it'll go green. Come up here. vast bit of the sky so yeah just that faint little bit of blue sky will help to bring the clouds um into the picture a bit more we need a bit more down here missed a bit okay so the clouds are going to be a very light gray And then we can always come in with a dark grey afterwards. But we want, as I've always said, as I keep saying, we always come in lighter. Now, what I would recommend, particularly with these more detailed versions of paintings, is to watch me all the way through first. Then, when you're ready to actually have a go, get all your equipment ready, get all your paints ready, and then join along for a second time and that way you know what's coming and you're prepared in your head about what's coming we missed a little bit of blue sky there so we can go back in with that in a minute i am literally just this is a first coat so i'm not worrying too much about how i'm putting it down or where just getting a first coat in nice and light and then when we get an idea of whether we're happy with it or not we can add in detail so let me just pick up that blue and build in down here where was it not that bit oh there oh very blue compared to the rest in to shoot better okay I want to get it so it matches the rest okay now we need to do her wings which i think should be the same blue as what she's wearing but watered down a little bit and then we can come in with more color afterwards i like the fact that it's uh we're not putting too many different colors in because it could get it too much and that's part of the bottom part of her wing there and that's the bottom part there so at the moment they're looking really faint which is fine we're going to do bottom coat of these as well I can't see the other one I've gone over it okay a bit low with the cutter part of it that's all right doesn't matter okay so i'm happy with that i think oh I missed a bit of a cloud over here so every now and again just come back and see am i happy with that have i done everything i wanted to if not add in more so i just need to finish off the clouds at the bottom and then we'll do a very very faint light layer of her hair and then we have the overall base to get going with i will give her like an in-between brown and blonde blonde hair color oh, 
and make sure you're moving the brush in the direction of her hair because even though you won't see all of those marks it will make more sense to do that now we'll come in in a bit with some darker color and we can have some more detailed strands in there right i'm going to come down to my smaller brush now because we are thinking about detail a little bit so i'm going to come in and give her a little bit of shadow on her arm so it's the same color just slightly darker and then i'm just pulling it into her arm but it also kind of just brings in um the color into her from her hair into her skin and it kind of evens everything out my door's just going but they need delivery i've got a box they can drop it off so now i'm going to come in and finish feet There we are they needed to be a bit darker we couldn't really see them right now i have a darker red here which i'm just going to bring in now it's basically a red a, a red the same red mixed in with a bit of brown so just come in with that and we'll blend it in in a minute it's just going to be darker at the bottom because the light's coming from the top down so we need to reflect that in the shading on the mushroom there we go and that's starting to give some shape to the mushroom now i'm just blending it in a little bit don't want it to look too patchy and that should dry nice okay now i'm going to come down and put some more yellow ochre in the bottom of the mushroom like so just to give it more of a natural effect i'm going to put quite a bit at the top and then just pull it down and that will give it a more realistic effect now i need to use black but i don't want it to be too black but it needs to be quite strong because it's got to go over the red and we're going to go in and do some of those dots so some of them came above the line of the mushroom and some of them were on top so what we'll do is we'll do as many of them as we can and this will start to bring that mushroom to life a bit making it as we want it nearly black if that makes any sense because then when we come over to give it a bit of 3d-ness we can add some more black again so um i think i'm under her there. On there. On there. So I am literally just using my finer brush. Come in and just get them in place, to be honest. Now they don't have to be exactly in place but um i'm trying to get it as close to the picture as possible for you guys you don't have to you could just put them anywhere you want make sure they're all sorts of different sizes i'm just gonna pop a few little ones in there and just do a few dotted about here i am really just making it up <laughs> i think that looks good down the bottom okay 
going to give that a dry so it'll go quiet for a minute see the paper curling but don't worry um very often i if i'm doing it I'm doing a bigger picture i will tape it down but it because it's only a little one now i'm getting my um finer line brush and i'm literally just taking black straight out of the pan and then i'm giving the spots some edges which will make them look as though they are actually coming off that mushroom do that So um, as I said before, every single picture in the book, every single step by step has a drawing tutorial on YouTube. There are also some painting tutorials, but most of them will be over on Patreon. And um, it would be lovely to see you over there. It's a small fee per month. You can have the downloadables to print or there's the book option if you're in the uk you can have the book sent out to you every month and then i over the month i release first of all all of the drawing tutorials and in the last three weeks i in, i do all of the painting ones um either in soft pastels watercolors acrylics or color pencils it varies i just like to put a mix in there for you all now because she's got purple feet i think i'm gonna come in with a purple waistband yeah, I like that. So now I'm just going to mark in some darker areas of her feet just to give some shadow. I'll just put it on the points like that. It's like her feet are pointing down. That's it. Proper little elf shoes. And then she can have some lines on her belt as well. Okay. Now it's going to come to the wings and putting detail in. Now, all I want to do on my wings is use my brush in that way to put some purple on. It might be a bit dark. Water it down a little bit. And then on that one as well. Yeah, it was a bit dark. So let's get some tissue. Just dab a bit off. Better. Okay, so now it's about filling in sections of her wings however you want this is the fun bit just as long as you're going in the direction of her wings and i would say keep it symmetrical so here i've literally just gone in with the purple and done the top part and kind of just spreading it out at the bottom so it looks as though it's coming from that part of the wing naturally rather than just one thin stripe and then I think we'll alternate between different purples on top of that just to give um well that looks the same it's supposed to be a different one That's no good is it supposed to be more of a lilac there we go so just use the brush again to give some nice shapes uh let's go for this really bright pink i don't think i've really used this much but it is very bright but hey let's do it there we go <laughs> i like that color actually right so then we want to just have down here on this part of her wing a few little spots and that's the other part of her wing up there she's starting to look like she's a flower uh yeah so we need some more marks like this just going up her wings just to give her some kind of hmm, what if we could do like a nice blue that look yeah i think that would be nice so let's do some blue 
and we can come in with some different marks just to decorate her up a bit add it in so that we can see that it is actually her wings we don't want them exactly perfectly opposite each other because you know she's supposed to be a part of nature isn't she and nothing in nature is really perfect there so now i've gone for like an aqua green uh, you see it's like a bluey green might have to just water it down a bit and put a bit of white in it so that we can see it properly just gonna come in with another one there and i think i'll just put some purple in to do one that's just completely purple so what i'm going to do now is try and join them i'm going to give the outside of her wing little marks I mean I am making this up as I go I don't know if I said on this video that I generally don't plan um, just like to run with it so you might end up doing yours differently and that's fine but I'm just showing you how I would go about it and now what I want to do is come in with the blue blue was it I'll try that one and just remark in do some outlines this part of her wings in the background because at the moment they just look a bit nothingy coming around do a little bob on the end there we are that gives them a bit of definition and now what i also want to do with the darker purple is put some dots in in her wings all over I mean you could splatter but i want to kind of be careful about where i put them i want them all spaced out and i don't want them all over the picture i just want some on her wings so you really do need a small brush for this i recommend if you're just starting out with watercolors you need three size brushes you need a bigger one a middle sized one and a small one and that really is i mean I, I pretty much use those all the time unless i'm doing bigger pictures i do have bigger brushes but you don't need that to get started so i think her dress needs also a little bit more definition maybe some marks coming in just to show where her dress goes what her dress is like darken some areas up a bit Especially this part here. Go and think around here and at the bottom. Don't worry, I'm going to blend it in. I'll we'll blend that round. That's just given us a little bit of shape and form by putting in another value just to show and tell the story of her clothes kind of moving and the lights hitting them in some areas and it's darker in others. Yep, yeah, and then under her belly we'll just have a few little curves there. They're like it's what's in the picture and I, I just think they look great. And then the same on her top, a few lines like that, just to show where her dress is. And I think we don't want to do too much else with her. We'll do her hair now. So really it's just yellow ochre. I kind of did her blondie. We're just going to come in now with some darker strands. We've got the back colour on, so that's fine. She has a background. Um yeah and we'll just draw some strands in don't really matter where you put them just as long as they're in in the picture they're curling at the bottom so let's do that let's give us some curls so as i say these kind of activities that i do they're good for mindfulness art they're just something to do that you can put in your sketchbook 
uh, it's just something to do if you feel like you just need some downtime. These videos are my downtime. <laughs> I'm quite lucky. Um, I don't feel as though it's work. So I think what we'll do is she does need a little bit of shading. So I'm going to get that skin colour that I had, that peachy colour. Just put a little bit of that. Oh, no, I don't want blue. I've got blue in my white. It's not good. I just want to put a little bit of colour in her neck because it just looks... Oh, sorry. I've got a habit of when I'm leaning over to do detail of leaning forward and then you lot can't see anything. So now I'm just going to blend that in a little bit just so she's got a little bit of colour on her neck where the shadow naturally would be. So using the same colour, just a nice light touch, we're going to put some eyebrows in. Now you can use a pencil to do this. A lot of people do and I'm just going to mark in some little eyes. I'm not really doing anything much because I just want there to be, I don't want it to be a detailed face. I just want it to be the essence of a face and somebody looking. We could just give her a bit more colour because she does look a little bit pale there. Just give her a little bit more. I just don't want to mess it up and put the wrong colour in. That's better. Just a little bit more warmth. Okay. And I'm just going to come round. And do her underhand, which will be a bit darker. I know we had done that earlier and I spread it out. But actually now I've done the rest of the painting. I can see that it needs it. And... Put a little bit in there in her arm to show where the fold is. And we'll come round, give her some fingers. And I mean, we can still keep playing around this for a while, but we're pretty much done. I don't really want to put too much detail in the background. You can, of course, you can come in and do a bit more. Um, I'm going to pick up some grey and just put some little splodges around so you can do that put them wherever you want which creates a bit of depth in the in the um clouds sorry i was concentrating it's really difficult to concentrate on painting and talk and think of words at the same time it's harder than it looks right Now I am just laughing. I would say we are done. And I need to be done because just in time for picking up my boys from school. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, again, you could keep going on. Look at the picture and there's all sorts of um, lines and things in the clouds. So you could be more detailed. But I just want that to be in the background. And I want her and the mushroom to be in the foreground and very much prominent. So please subscribe if you can to my channel. Like, comment and even share if possible on your socials. Also, um, remember Patreon over there. It's a monthly fee. You get either the book or the downloadables, dependable where you are and all of my extra bonus material on colouring and painting all the pictures. So I hope you enjoyed that. I did and we'll see you 